It's time to clean the stove. Let's get started with putting our gloves on. And in this video, you will only need a sponge, some dish soap, put it on the sponge and get the sponge wet. And then you're just going to scrub the entire stove top. And you're going to leave it for about 30 minutes. So this is one of those where you just leave it, let it do its thing, and then you come back and then you can wipe away everything. So first I like to just make sure that everything is scrubbed and has enough soap on it. When that's done, then I can just leave it to do its thing. What soap does, it breaks down fat. So when you're cooking things, fat from the food is splashing and it sticks onto your stovetop and it's a base. So you want to break it down with another base type cleaner like soap. So just leave it there for about half an hour and come back. If you have warm water, it even works better and faster. But if you have cold water, it's okay. It just takes a little bit longer for it to soak. But yeah, that's the secret. Just dish soap and water is all you need to clean anything that has the fat from the food. So you don't need these fancy stovetop cleaners. You don't need any special types of tools. All you need is a sponge and a cloth afterwards to take away all of the soap. After I take away all of the soap, I wipe it again with just plain water to remove more of the soap. Then I'll come back with a dry, clean rag and buff dry all of the areas that I just wiped down to remove the soap. Now buff drying makes the surface look shiny. It removes all the lint. And once you're done with that, then you can clean the racks. Now the racks should actually have already been soaking as well in the soapy cleaner. And if they're really bad, you might wanna submerge them completely you could use the bathtub if you don't have that big of a sink like I do. I do this on a regular basis so they don't get that bad. So I just simply wipe them with some soapy water and it cleans off really well. And then I also buff it dry. It seems clean enough to me. But if you want to go with a deep cleaning, I would recommend soaking it in hot soapy water for about 30 minutes coming back and then just washing away all of the soap with a wet rag and then you can buff dry it and then put it right back onto the stove top and it will look amazing here's the before and here's the after if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and you can also subscribe and tap the notification bell too to be notified of the very next video. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.